September 30th, St. Jerome, Doctor of the Church. St. Jerome is a father and doctor of the Church who is best known for his compiling of the Vulgate version of the Catholic Bible, now the standard edition in use. He was born about the year 347 near Dalmatia to wealthy Christian parents. Initially educated at home, his parents soon sent him to Rome to further his intense desire for intellectual learning. There he studied and excelled at grammar, Latin, and Greek, rhetoric, and philosophy, and lived a deeply materialistic life alongside his fellow students. Jerome was baptized in his late teen years, as was the custom at the time, around the time he finished his schooling. After spending many years in travel, and notably discovering and investigating his extreme interest in monasticism, Jerome's life took a sudden turn. In the spring of the year 375, he became gravely ill and had a dream that profoundly impacted him, because in it he was accused of being a follower of Cicero, an early Roman philosopher, and not a Christian. Afterwards, Jerome vowed never to read any pagan literature again, not even the classics for pleasure. He separated himself from society and left to become a hermit in the desert so as to atone for his sins and dedicate himself to God. Having no experience at this and no guide to direct him, Jerome suffered greatly and was often quite ill. He was plagued terribly with temptations of the flesh and would impose harsh penances on himself to repress them. While there, he undertook the learning of Hebrew as an added penance and was tutored by a Jewish convert. When controversy arose among his fellow monks in the desert concerning the bishopric of Antioch, Jerome left to avoid the tension of the position he found himself in. Having developed a reputation as a great scholar and ascetic, Jerome was ordained to the priesthood by the persuasion of Bishop Paulinus on the condition that he be allowed to continue his monastic lifestyle and not be obliged to assume pastoral duties. In the year 382, he was appointed secretary to Pope Damascus, who urged him to undertake a Latin translation of the Bible from its original Greek and Hebrew origins. He sent forth from his solitary cell not only a solidly accurate version of the scriptures, but during thirty years' time a veritable stream of luminous writings for the Christian world. He combated with unfailing efficacy several heresies being subtly introduced by various personages in his own region and elsewhere. For fourteen years the hand of the great scholar could no longer write. But St. Jerome could still dictate to six secretaries at a time, to each on a different subject in those final years. He died in his beloved Bethlehem in the year 420, when over 80 years old. His tomb is still in a subterranean chapel of its ancient basilica, but his relics were transported to St. Mary Major Basilica of Rome, where the crib of Bethlehem is conserved. St. Jerome is the patron saint of librarians and translators. 